armor piercing. You were on an oil rig with 15 juggernauts, and that's it. It's a pretty fun mission. One of the actually one of the hardest in all the Spec Ops missions. It's actually in the Echo series, but with this simple strat, it will not be too bad. I usually get the Barrett, and the second weapon doesn't really matter because your Barrett will do most of the work. Barrett and flashes, that is. So we run up to the platforms above, and we want to get set up by this ammo crate. Watch, I'm playing a C4 here. I've never actually used this C4. It's just, just in case, because sometimes the juggernauts will spawn in really weird places. Just in case one spawns behind us, we'll know before it's too late. With the sound of the claymore going off. So I push up here. Sometimes the juggernaut will spawn a lot earlier than there is one here, but you never know. Yeah, one spawned on the stairs. That was kind of a bad spot to be in, but I got lucky and stunned him with the first shot. Able to finish him off. So that's one down, 14 more to go. And now we don't want to be up here too long. We want to get, you know, five, maybe six kills up here. So let's just run around and hopefully get a juggernaut to spawn. And if you pay attention, you can. There's a distinct difference in the music once a juggernaut spawns. So just run around and listen for that. Take your corners too. You don't want to run out around the doorway because the juggernaut will kill you almost instantly. Almost right. He did right there. So when spawns, I'm running back to get in a spot where I can kill him. Apparently I hadn't reloaded before. But it's not too bad. He is dead. With a Barrett, it's basically just put him in the center of your screen and pull the trigger as fast as you can. So that's two juggernauts down now. We wanna you wanna get it down to only eight or nine left. Once we get to that point with eight or nine left, we wanna go back down to the the first ammo box and hold up there for the last uh, juggernauts. Up here is fine for now because we can handle one at a time. But later, when two come at a time, you're better off being where we started. Oh, that was really lucky. I, I've i never seen a juggernaut spawn right there. I'm glad that it, it when it does spawn there, it, you know, uh, it didn't kill me. It's nice to have one spawn with us back turned to you. So there was one right there. I threw a flash and just ran away. The flashes will stun him really well. So you want to make sure you always have a couple flashes available. There are definitely lifesavers in this mission. Alright, so we got ten juggernauts left. There's one right there, so that'll meet nine. After I kill this one, I'm gonna want to go back down to the uh, original ammo crate. There we go, pulling out my backup sniper. Barrett was out of ammo, didn't bother to reload. Alright, so there's nine left. I'm gonna go back to, the, to this original spot. It's best set up for this mission. You get a long straightaway, and the juggernaut also has to come around the corner. Plus you have an ammo crate right there, so you can get extra flashes and ammo. And that's why we planted that claymore there originally, because that's where we want to set up, and that claymore will let us know if Infinity Ward spawned a really bad juggernaut. So they got one there, I flashed him, ran around, and he is dead. So let me go fill up on ammo, wait a couple seconds for one to come around the corner. They usually don't. You usually have to go up and push up and, you know, encourage one to spawn on top of you, but sometimes you'll get lucky and you, they'll spawn when you're sitting back. Yep, so there we go. I had one spawn. Run back to my spot and kill it. Get some ammo.
There we go, another one spawning on our way. I'm lucky he didn't get hit there. And and we stayed. Six more left. This is one of the hardest missions, like as I said before, but it's with a strategy it's not that bad. If you had a partner here it would be ridiculously easy. Because you wouldn't have to worry about getting downed and the juggernauts would die in half the time. So here we go, I just made another one spawn. He's wow, he almost killed me there. Lucky I had my flashes. Throw one to get away and throw one more to uh, to stun him so I can shoot him down. The second one probably wasn't needed, but it I mean it definitely helps. I have an ammo crate right there, so I don't have to conserve my flashes. So with five more left, I'm trying to get one more to spawn. Two actually spawned that time. See, if we were up top, this would have been that would have been really difficult to kill both of them. The way I just stood. I I heard fire coming up from up there. I was wondering what was happening, and what do you know? I pop up, and there's two right right in front of me. I just made this mission a lot harder than it had to be by looking away. But it looks like I'm going to survive with my flashes, of course. So I kill this one, and there is one more left. And he has yet to spawn. So I get more ammo, and just wait. So let me push up again and get in the spawn. And there he is. He is dead. Oh, almost died there too. That was nice. Uh, congratulations. You just beat armor piercing by yourself on veteran.